when I turned around, it felt horrible. It felt like I was making just the biggest mistake of my life. The slow pace of some climbers pushing for the summit is a problem for everyone. There were a lot of uh, inexperienced climbers, um, you know, and, and on the other hand, there were a lot, uh, happily, there were also a lot of experienced climbers. And the mix um, is, is, is not, uh, not the biggest problem, but the, the, the quantity of climbers, you know, that, that is, of course, uh, always a problem because the longer the chain, you know, there is always one part in the chain who is exhausted or who makes a, f a mistake or whatever. But at this altitude, even experienced climbers, like the Norwegian climber Rolf Baia, run into trouble. How are you? Oh, good. Not, not a great day today. A hard day for me today. Yes. It was not a good day. You mean with a small accident or conditional? Oh, some personal condition. Yeah. <laughs> Down in Camp 4, Frederick and Eric suddenly hear a terrifying sound coming from the climbers ahead. What's happening? What do you see? Right in the bottleneck? The, the bottom? bottom. On the left, right? About where? On the, on the top, top left? left. Top left. <clears throat> we just heard a scream, and we knew instantly that something really, really bad had happened. <laughs> 